Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects quick tip scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to access and generate slash export Mogurts in After Effects. With this script, I'm basically going to be looping through a layer full of these properties, adding them to motion graphics, and then exporting them as a file, which in this process goes by very quickly. And to finish it off, I'm going to export it to my desktop so that I have easy access to it. And as you can see, I've successfully exported this Mogurt in sort of an automated fashion. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be quickly creating all of this, going over a few of the methods and properties you can access in the different versions of After Effects. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link, as well as follow us there for coding updates. And down in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you want to get more out of your learning and continue, you can join our Discord server and get help, as well as join these cool channels like scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and many more. And if you want to help support the YouTube channel, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks with them. So first, let's look at what we can actually do and access inside of After Effects with a motion graphics uh, template. There are limitations in different versions, so it is good to know these. So first, let's start at After Effects 15.0. Uh, this is the first version that supported any type of scripting access to motion graphics. What we have access to is the motion graphics template name, uh, the ability to export as a motion graphics template, the ability to open a composition up inside of the motion graphics uh, panel, uh, the ability to add a property we have selected or chosen uh, to the template, but no ability to change the name, do note that. And also lastly, the ability to uh, be able to add this property or composition to the motion graphics template. But in a newer version, uh, in the update over here for 16.1, we have very useful updates. So I highly recommend using the newest version available of After Effects because these methods and properties are the most valuable here. First, we have the ability to count how many controllers or properties are inside of our current uh, motion graphics template. And then we also have the ability to get the name of any of the properties or controllers. And then the last two are very important. One, we have the ability to set the name of our motion graphics template, uh, which will allow us to customize a little bit more in depth. And we also have the ability to add to a motion graphics template as, which allows us to add a property to the motion graphics template with a specified name of our choosing. Previously, you could only add elements to the motion graphics template, and there's no way to change the name. So that's very important, and we're going to be using that feature today to make it super easy. The way I have my setup today here is in After Effects, I have this lower third here, and it has a control null, which contains a whole bunch of uh, basically expressions that are linked to these effects. And I want each of these effects to be part of my Mogurt template. Maybe I want to export this for Premiere and I want each of these to be automated and just basically the same thing as dragging them into the panel over here. So we want to automate this with a script. The way I'm going to do this is by creating a generalized function called generate Mogurt. And the requirements for this are going to be my control layer, which in this case is full of effects I want to replicate, and also my composition. And then to run this, I'm going to just say generate Mogurt. And for a control layer, I'm going to give it my app.project.active item. And in this case, it's our first layer. And then we also need to give it the composition, which is just going to be assumed to be the active item or open composition. Now, the first thing we want to do is open up the composition in motion graphics to prepare it to be created. So I'm going to say comp dot open in essential graphics. When I run this, it's going to pop open essential graphics with our select composition. Then what I want to do is just loop through all of the effects on our control layer. To do this, I'm going to say for of our i is equal to one, where i is less than or equal to our control layer. We're looking at the effects and we're going to loop through all of these, which is going to be the num properties of the effects increment I by one. So each time through, we're going to be taking a look at one effect uh, onto the next. And each time through, we want to take that and add it to our motion graphics template. 
but we don't want to just add it to the motion graphics template uh, like we have in After Effects 15. As mentioned, we can add it to motion graphics template as, which gives us the option of basically giving it a string uh, or a custom name. So we need to give it the property dot add to motion graphics template as. So we can just copy that. And the property is going to be control layer dot effect I. And all of these have one property. So we're going to bring in dot property one, and we're going to add this to the motion graphics template as, and the first argument is going to be the comp and then the name. So the comp we already have it's called comp and the name is going to be whatever the name of the current effect is. So control layer dot effect I dot name. Now, if we've done this right and we run it, we should automatically have added all of these into the uh, interface here, which is super easy. Now all we need to do is go ahead and export these to a file. One other thing we can actually do as well is change the name of this if we want, the actual name of the motion graphics template. If you want to customize that, we can say comp dot motion graphics template name. And let's just call it now testing name out. And then if I go ahead and remove all of these, it should change the name at least. I'm not sure if it's actually changed the name internally, but it's not appearing necessarily here. Maybe it will appear in our export, which is the next and last step. We're going to export as a motion graphics template here. And in order to do that, we need to give it uh, if we want to overwrite if it exists in the file path or the folder path. So we're going to grab our comp and say export as motion graphics templates. Uh, we do want to override it in case if it already exists. And the place we're going to save it to is our desktop. And just to make sure here, export as motion graphics templates. Export as motion graphics template. Good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and paste uh, my desktop location, which is where I want to save it. You can option, optionally, you can also not include it to basically save it to your default location, wherever that may be. And one thing as well, you may get pop-ups during this process uh, asking if you want to save it or if you have fonts that you need to uh, update, things like that. Uh, these might slow things down and you can also add a suppressed dialogues to reduce that. But to keep this simplistic and just show how to use the motion graphics, if we run this now, you can see it, we need to save it first now that we've made these changes. You could do that in automation as well to automatically save it and then it would uh, not have that pop up. And again, if you're missing any fonts, when you reopen the project, you can see those are going to appear, which you can suppress pretty easily. Uh, but now if we go to our desktop, you can see we now have testing name out.mogert. So this indeed did change the template name, just not visually. But that's actually changed the file name of, of when we export it. So now you successfully automated the process of creating a motion graphics template in After Effects. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the GitHub link for this code, follow us there, and follow us in the description as well on Instagram. If you want to get further help, you can join the Discord and join our community of channels like scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you want to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.